Could this be the best Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C923 ever produced by Heaven Hill? Let's talk about that today on the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. Let's do this. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So I can't tell you how excited I am to do the review of the newest batch from Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C923. I've gotten into this thing a little bit. I'm excited to do the review. The anticipation behind this with the age statement that it has at 13 years, seven months, you know, in my mind, I've kind of built this thing up. So I'm hoping that this kind of lives up to my expectation and maybe where I think this thing's gonna go. So why don't we go ahead and kind of dive into the review today. I'll tell you a little bit of the specs on this thing right now. So the newest Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C923 is coming in at 133 proof. Uh, the age statement on this is a whopping 13 years, seven months. So to date, the oldest of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs and the MSRP is coming in at right around $75 which in my mind is making this maybe the best value in all of uh, bourbon. We'll take a look at the color here real quick. So as you can see, again, beautiful, rich mahogany, moving the whiskey around in the glass a little bit, beautiful, beautiful oils running really slow on the glass, um, everything that you wanna see uh, in a bourbon. So let's go ahead and see what this bad boy is gonna give us. Uh, so immediately, it's everything that you would expect from an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof just ramped up that much more. That age is really kind of showing itself minus all of the, maybe you'd think there'd be a little bit more of a tannic oak. It is not there at all so far. What I will say is that this, that beautiful Rick House sweet, oak is definitely there without again like i mentioned before any of that heavy tannic or dry wood note how oh, the amount of brown sugars there's this luxardo cherry uh, note to it the balance of this is absolutely incredible it is rich deep decadent everything you'd expect in in a great or the perfect elijah craig barrel proof beautiful dark chocolate notes on that as well I'll even say like a little bit of tobacco, maybe like a, a really rich smelling like cherry pipe tobacco. And maybe the best like cherry pie you'll ever smell. I mean, it is so, if you could have a Luxardo cherry pie, it is exactly what this thing is, is giving you with combined with that, that rich, decadent, sweet Rick House oak that's there, nice chocolate notes, great spice on this. It's not blowing me away by the proof, you know, at 133. It's not a lot of ethanol that's coming off of this glass, which is something I appreciate where you're not having to overly think about the, the heavy proof on this. It's just giving you everything that you want uh, to nose in, in the perfect bourbon. It is probably hands down for me, one of the best noses I've smelled on a bourbon in an awful long time. It is dare I say, almost the perfect bourbon. Really nice kind of rich toffee notes. Very little nuttiness. It's more of those sweet, rich oak, cherry, cherry pie, toffee, all of those. You're not having to focus on sometimes that typical Heaven Hill nuttiness. Um, it's maybe there slightly, but all of the other notes that you're getting are, are far superior or taking over any of that kind of nuttiness that you might sometimes get. Yeah, again, maybe a little bit of that kind of sweet pipe tobacco mixed in with a little bit of cherry that's there. There's nothing artificial about this. Again, it's all rich, deep, decadent, very like a concentrate type of bourbon. Yeah, very, very excited to kind of dive into and see what this thing's gonna taste like. So let's go ahead and kind of dive into that now. Cheers. Oh my God, right off of the first sip. Man, just absolutely ridiculous. 
you could stop this whole thing right now and just end it with that. My first impression would be the, the mouth texture, the creaminess, how it sits on your palate. It is just lingering there forever. You can feel this thing just evolving as it sits there on the palate. It is just a great, great mouthfeel. But there's this really beautiful sweetness. And, and I think the sweetness that's there is coming from a little bit of that that creme brulee, man, that charred layer of creme brulee. Again, a really nice caramel note, which is kind of that combo of the, of the charred top of, of a creme brulee. That beautiful, sweet rickhouse oak is there. Really nice overall like baking spices. It just feels like if you're putting together like the greatest fruit pie ever, that just the combo of, of all of that, the baking spices, are just all as perfect as they possibly can be. I mean, if it sounds like I'm raving about this thing, I am. I mean, it is really almost difficult to describe the profile of this thing because it really, to me, feels like almost the perfect bourbon. And for me, I'm gonna go out on a limb already, just a few sips in and say, I think this is maybe the best Elijah Craig barrel proof batch that they've ever released. I know that's a lot to say and I don't have a lot of them or any of them in front of me, but just from memory, what this thing has to offer, I can't imagine anybody wanting or getting a more perfect bourbon. This thing, the balance, the complexity, the decadence, the sweet, the spice, all of it, it just is working perfectly. Yeah, that Luxardo cherry mixed with that great oak, great spice. Now that I'm kind of sipping on a little bit, more of the proof kind of feels like it's coming out a little bit more. Beautiful, deep, like rich brown sugars. There's almost this slightly flat Coca-Cola feel to it. Sometimes you'll get that with some of the other, you know, big brands that have given us that full body type of bourbon and you're getting a little bit of this. It's almost like a slightly flatter, like cherry Coke, but the cherry is like a really rich Luxardo cherry. It is just an absolutely incredible bourbon. And I would say for this one, it is definitely worthy of a backup, if not a, a third bottle. I think this is going to be one of those bourbons that people talk about for years. Love the age. It now being 13 years, seven months, it is showing what these older, well-crafted bourbons can really bring. If they're done properly like this one is, it is an absolute monster beast of a whiskey. And, and one that I would say to anybody, hands down, if you can buy them, how many ever you can get, it is worthy of that. It is gonna go down, in my opinion, as probably, if not the best Elijah Craig Barrel Proof uh, that they've ever released, definitely within the top three, period. Yeah, like I mentioned before, you get that, that decadence. There's that pie crust. Again, the, the best cherry pie you can possibly ever have or imagine is what this is. I mean, it, it is so hard to almost describe. You just feel like you want to gush over this thing and, and it's all of that. The, the balance, the richness, the complexity for me allows this to feel like the perfect bourbon and it is everything that I want and I think a lot of other people who enjoy again that barrel proof bourbon is really going to want and I, there's not much more I can say guys uh, it is just worthy of your money and it is worthy of you picking up I'm going to say two three of these and just keep them for the future because it is just hands down one of the best bourbons I think I've honestly ever had. It is that, it is that good. If you kind of talk a little bit about the finish, I mean, it is just sitting there. The I've been talking and, and the longer I talk, the longer it just kind of continues to sit there. 
all of those flavors have really never gone away. So that finish is as long as it possibly can be. And, and you just feel every bit of this quality bourbon that has been batched this time to create the C923. So there's not much more I can say, unfortunately. It is just for me, hands down, maybe one of the top five bourbons I've I've maybe ever had. And, and again, in my opinion, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, I think it's maybe the best release they've ever done as far as the Elijah Craig barrel proof batches have gone. It is it is that good in, in my opinion. So there you have it. There are my thoughts on that. I mean, for me, it doesn't get almost any better than that. It is everything that I wanted. It was everything I was expecting this batch to be once I kind of knew what some of the ages would be. Uh, not over oak by any means. So there you go. Uh, thank you guys so much for, for what. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts on where you think this bourbon ranks amongst some of the other batches that they've released. Uh, you've heard my thoughts and my opinion on where I think this is. Again, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again. If you'd like to follow me, you can on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, X, whatever that's called these days, all at My Bourbon Journey. If you'd like to help support the channel and become part of the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club, make sure you check out the Patreon link in the description below. It's down there along with the other great things for you guys as well. So remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Look for the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C923. Absolute monster of a bourbon. Cheers.